Hey, what's up everybody? My name is JR Maddox. In today's episode, I'm going to show you a really quick technique in real estate photography. Sometimes there's lights that are not working in the house and instead of just painting them in, I like to cut and paste them in there and it makes them look a little bit more realistic and it's quite easy. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring that photo into Photoshop and right here we are going to grab our lasso tool and come in here, I'm gonna hit Command plus sign and zoom in so I can get pretty close to the light source. And I am going to lasso around that light and I'm going to hit Command J, the keyboard shortcut to copy that. And I'm gonna hit Command zero and that's going to bring me back to full screen of my image. I'm gonna count how many lights I need. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lights, so I'm going to make sure I'm on that layer that I copied, and I'm gonna hit Command J six more times. One, two, three, four, five, six. From here, I'm going to hit the V key so I can move the lights around. I'm gonna come over here where I copied them and bring them over. Just keep dragging them to the light source where they need to be, and it's super, super easy now that uh, Photoshop has updated that, and I'm really digging it. So. Now, we are going to come over here and grab, make sure we got our move key, and we're gonna click on that new light source and hit Command plus sign to zoom in. And I just hit my space bar and drag over to the light source that I am working on. And I'm going to Command T to free transform that. And I come over to my opacity and lower that to about 50% so I could see both lights pretty well, so I know how big to make that new light source and which angle to put it at. And it's pretty small since that light source was pretty far away in the kitchen, so I'm gonna just drag that out. And actually right now we're getting pretty close to looking pretty good at, that looks like it matches pretty, pretty darn close. So what I would do if it didn't match is I would right click and hit the distort key and I would move these around ever so slightly to get that to match the other light source and move these little handles around until it matches just perfect. And that to me, I think looks really, really good. So I'm going to hit the return or enter key, make sure I go back to my opacity and make sure that goes to 100%. And I like to come in here and hit the Alt Option key and click on my layer mask, and that is going to make sure that it all disappears. And if you don't have a Wacom tablet, I suggest you go out and get one because it makes things a lot easier. So I'm going to come in here with my pen tool, and I click on the B key, and that brings up my brush tool, and then I make sure that I click on D to make sure that I have black and white as my default colors and I make sure that the mask over here is clicked over here, that I'm going to be coloring on that, and I make sure that I have white. And I come in here, and last thing, make sure your flow is at 5% or thereabouts. That's what I like, and that's what I feel comfortable with. And I come in here, and I paint over that light source until I get a realistic looking light that comes from the one that we copied and pasted in there. Now, if you go out too far and the ceiling was too dark, you're going to see where that light doesn't look right. So you're gonna to wanna to mask out the light source that you're copying and pasting in there still to make it look realistic. So in this matter, I'm going to hit Command-0, bring us all the way back, and I think that looks good. Right here, as you can see, the mask doesn't look quite that good. So I'm gonna come in here a little bit more and make sure I hit the black, go to click on X, and I'm going to mask that out just ever so slightly, come back out here. Now that looks good to me. Now that looks really, really, really good. It looks realistic. I could have used the brush tool, but I just don't think the brush tool can look that realistic. And plus, you're trying to take your, <clears throat> your editing to the next level, and this right here, I think looks completely professional, and it looks great. No one's ever gonna know the difference because it looks as real as it can be. So as you can see here, on and off, on and off. That's my favorite part. I like that part. And it looks like we just turned the lights on. 
So I'm gonna finish off the rest of these and I will show you what that looks like. So there you go. That's what it looks like with all the lights and everything looks like the lights were really on. So if you guys have any questions whatsoever, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and make sure to subscribe subscribe to my YouTube channel and press on that little notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. So have a great day and we'll talk to you guys soon. All right, peace out.